Welcome back, Chronics. We are talking about another comorbidity, which is just morbid. So I guess the name fits. But at the end of the day, it's better to know if this is present, this may be present. Seriously? Just to, you know, think outside the box. Out of the box is where I live. We are talking about Chiari malformations. Chiari malformation is basically when the lower part of the brain pushes down on the spinal canal. You are born with it. However, it may not cause you any problems until you're well into adulthood. You can just be having a regular Tuesday and all of a sudden you can't feel your foot. If you're having any kind of neurological symptoms, you should really push for an MRI. Even if they don't know exactly what they're looking for. Oh, there it is. There are so many horrible, debilitating symptoms associated with this that I'm just gonna, just gonna put up the list because it's a lot. Yikes. No. And a lot of the things are also symptoms of POTS and EDS, so then it'll be hard to know where the symptoms are coming from, but again, we'll keep it straight because we'll know what tests we need. Yeah, we got this. I just need to get organized. Here are all the diagnostics you can have if you need more information than what is on an MRI. There is a Chiari Society. I will put the information in the episode description. And it's a good idea to find a practitioner from their list. Because, again, even if you have an MRI and a neurologist can see you have Chiari, they may or may not know what to do with that. I actually have a good friend who was recently diagnosed and her first neurologist was like, it's really not bad, just get some PT. How do you know then? Got a second opinion. Second neurologist was like, oh my God, how have you lived? When did these symptoms start? You must be completely debilitated. We're going to do some more testing and then we're probably going to refer you to another specialist. But aren't there specialists who specialize in this? And can do surgery if needed, because surgery and medications are also an option for treatment. It's not going to help to go strengthen your neck. What? It's kind of like if there's a fire, just throwing a tiny little thimble of water on it. Yes, it's possible, but we don't know enough. It is serious, but once treated, if this is what you're suffering from, fear not, there is hope. Thank you guys again for joining me and remember, be true to yourself and don't take crap from anyone, even a doctor who says it's not that bad. <laughs> Do you live every day in my life? No, so I'll be the judge of that. Thank you very much.